that by you. Obviously, went through a little bit of adversity there. You came back to win it with the guillotine. Uh, what was going through your head as far as needing to get that win and the importance of it at that moment? Well, every fight is very important. Like I said, you fight for the belt. For the first fight, it doesn't matter. Uh, I was hurt. I was really hurt. You know, when you keep my <laughs> my nose, yeah. it, it was really hurting. My stomach started hurting. I, I kind of got worried for a minute. Like I, I, I kept feel my legs for a minute. That's why he goes, take your time, take your time. I'm like, I don't want to take my time. I just want to go fight there. But it was just hurting my, not my legs, my, my stomach started hurting really bad. So I was kind of cautious, but thank God I continued and I won. And for yourself, I've heard that on a personal level that you're going to be getting married. So how much does this kind of uh, give you just more going into that occasion as a big life moment for you? Oh, it's a life changing 100%. Uh, you know, I find the right person. I've done it for so many years. So. I decided, you know, to propose her one month before my fight, so, you know, so the wedding is on actually November 7th of next year, 2015, so I'll be getting married next year. You know, I'm in good hands, I'm in good place. Congratulations. Thank you. Manny, about the low blow, it seemed like you were getting a bit of momentum with the striking before that, landing nice combinations. Uh, took a while to recover as well. Think you weren't going to get it going as quick as you did? Uh, you know what? Uh, like I said, the the weight cut did it bother me? I perfectly did whatever I had to do. I start my camp from 168, 170. So uh, when I hired Mike Dolce, and I even told him uh, 170, 168, I'm in pretty good shape. So am I going to able to do this? Because I know I'm going to able to do it. Uh, this is where I belong. But I got big muscles. I'm a naturally big guy. But I know I'm short. But is it possible to make 35? He said, it's 100% possible. So after my last fight, last fight, I decided to make 135, and I was perfectly fine. And the low blow, the, the worst low blow I ever got in my life, like I said, you usually, like, you get numb, you get sweaty, your legs give up, but my stomach started hurting so bad. And I'm like, I can't, I can't do this right now. Give me, like, another one minute. I'm trying to come back, but again, when I said I want to go, I swear to God, I'm, I wasn't ready to go, but I'm here to fight. I'm here whatever the fans want to see, so I have to fight regardless. It doesn't matter. Speaking of what the fans want to see, you called out Brian Caraway after the fight. He's fighting uh, a Sun Sound next in October, just a week from now, but uh, you apparently really want him. What's uh, driving that? Oh, 100%, 100%. He disrespected me, me myself, uh, my team, Ronda Rousey, uh, talking just out of her mind, out of his mind, actually. But it, you know what? I respect him as a fighter. I respect his knowledge. He's a great fighter. But you know what? Talk is cheap. This is real. If you're going to talk and not do it, then people don't know that Dana White, when we're on the show, when Misha Tate and Ronda Rousey, they were doing the uh, coaches challenge, Dana White offered us to do a super fight, grappling fight only. People don't know about this. He denied it. I'm like, I only weigh 155, 60 with max. What way you want me to make? He just he, did, he said he's hurt. He doesn't want to do it. So obviously he's been running away. And when I drop try to drop the weight 135, I personally want to fight him first. But I guess Sean Shelby and Joe, everyone said go on your Twitter, go on your Instagram, Facebook, or you want to show UFC.com. They don't help. He personally said he doesn't want to fight me. Now I had to make this change. And I win a fight and call him out. If this doesn't work either, hey, he's not he's not in my he's not in my roster to fight. I got bigger, better opponents to fight. So but I would love to fight him next hundred percent. Win or lose, I just want to whoop his ass. So it was part of that weight cut and making that drop actually just to get to Caraway? Uh no. no. No, but he's part of it. I got bigger goals, like I said. He's is he part of it? No, just he disrespected us in a way that it's not right for the public. 100% he's part of it now that I just want a five round main event Coleman it doesn't matter many rounds is better for me so I just just put up I don't even want to knock him out or submit him anything like that I just want to give him an ass whooping was, just, there anything, was anything specific he said to you or was it about the Misha Ronda rivalry the, the way he handles himself it's just not right and uh, towards Ron I mean I respect Misha Tate I haven't said a lot of good things about her I always wish her good luck every girl I mean Obviously, Ronda is my girl for many years. We trained together, we grew up together. I know Ronda from head to toe. And she, she, he disrespecting her in front of me and said, I can 
I'm gonna break her teeth, I'm gonna break her, this and that. It's just not right. It doesn't sound right to me. If you're a man, you should fight me, not Ronda. Your wife or your girlfriend or your fiance should fight Ronda Rousey. She has bigger guts. She fought Ronda Rousey twice. So if Brian Carraway doesn't want to fight me, even a grappling challenge, what is that supposed to mean? That means he's just scared, period. And do you really think he is scared to fight you? Listen, if I have to fight Ken Velasquez, if someone calls me out, if someone has the balls to call me out on Twitter or anywhere, I'll fight him. I will definitely fight him. Am I gonna get am I gonna get my ass kicked from Ken Velasquez? I might die, hundred percent. I might die, but I'm, on the end of the day, if someone calls me out, I will definitely fight you. So calling all these places and making sure that I wanna fight you, you're not fighting me then I don't think you belong in the UFC, period. So are you gonna start that campaign right away on Twitter right now? No, 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 no. I already called them out. I already okay. called them out. Aria Wanna Show, the US.com's Twitter, Instagram. I'm done with this today. Besides this, I'm not gonna talk anymore. If he wants to respond, I even challenged him ice bucket challenge. He didn't even do it. So imagine guys, is he running away? Maybe, I don't know. But like I said, at the end of the day, I respect him as a fighter. He's got knowledge to fight. He's he, he's 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 out there to fight, hundred percent. But other than that, ah, I don't really care about that. Manny, sorry, one last question on Spanish TV. Did you adjust the guillotine at the end, or was it just a squeeze? Hundred percent, no, hundred percent. I was adjusting it. Usually, I do my with my left hand. Yeah. But it got to my right hand, and I had to adjust it. It was deep because his his head almost the yes, back of his head almost was out, out. So I had to adjust it. Come with your up, shoulder. Yes, squeeze him. And then pull them so awesome. It was awesome it was technique. Tough. Great finish. Thank you, sir. Appreciate Good to it. meet you, sir. Thank Wish you all the best with your fights. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. That's it. Thank you. Thank you.